It's an international event celebrating the best contemporary art inspired by Islamic traditions. Organized by Britain's Victoria and Albert Museum and supported by the charity Art Jamil, the Jamil Prize Awards ceremony and exhibition is traditionally held at the London Museum. But now for the first time, an edition of the prize has come to Istanbul's Para Museum. Miranda Atif was over there to take a look. Islamic traditions have had a global impact for millennia. And since 2009, the Jamil Prize has sought to recognize the best, the most creative contemporary artists influenced by Islamic art and design. We invite artists and designers from anywhere in the world, any religious background and any age group, which is also why you see in the exhibition a completely different range of artists at different stages in their career. So um, I think it's been important as in offering a platform for artists who are inspired by Islamic traditions in this way, um, maybe giving them a voice that they wouldn't normally have had, but also or categorizing their work in a way they might not necessarily have done before. Inspired by noted philanthropist, Mohammed Abdul Latif Jamil, who also financed the V&A's Jamil Gallery of Islamic Art, the prize awards £25,000 to the winner. It's um, a real challenge, a very positive challenge for, for young artists, or for artists in general, to work with us. More and more nations participating. You know, it's like this famous drop in the water and you see how things work and go out to different places. And now the success comes back for all of us. And the V&A was, from, from its beginning, from the 1850s, they were very, very, very close to the Islamic world. So I think it's a perfect match, a perfect cooperation. Eleven artists were shortlisted this year. From David Aylesworth's historic carpet, overlaid with a map of London's Hyde Park, to the mesmerising collage of Bahia Shahab's A Thousand Times Known. From the dramatic to the intricate, this is the winning art series. By young Pakistani artist Ghulam Mohammed, it's a dedication to language. I search different uh, books about language. So I take them, uh, people mostly they discard those books. I find them from old book house, or from different streets. So uh, then I read and uh, I take text from those books and rearrange them, those texts, which I carve manually. So uh, after that I put them together and I make my composition. They become from two-dimensional to three-dimensional. Sisters Aisha and Eje Ege were the first fashion designers to win the prize last cycle, two years ago. This winning one, Mohammed, is like really, I, I mean, we appreciate his work. It's absolutely exquisite. You know, it's so hard work. I think uh, he deserved it. The general manager of Art Jamil International, Renata Paps, joins me now in the studio to talk about the Jamil Prize. Hello and welcome. Hello. Tell us about the Jamil Prize. What is it? What does it hope to accomplish? Um, thank you for inviting me first. Um, welcome. I'm very happy to be here. Um, the Jamil Prize um, started, in fact, with our collaboration with the Victoria and Albert Museum. In, it started in 2003. Not really the prize, but... That was the day when uh, Mr. Mohammed Jamil, our president, uh, decided to help the Victoria and Albert Museum to renovate the, uh, the Islamic Gallery, which was then renamed into Jamil Gallery of Islamic Art. Mm -hmm. And because um, the Victoria and Albert Museum has been uh, collecting um, Islamic art for quite a while, and they kind of um, found out that uh, many designers in London and in the UK were inspired by these artworks, um, then, in discussions with Mr. Mohammed Jamil, um, it was decided to also make this link to contemporary art and create the Jamil Prize, 
which is in price um, for artists and designers from around the world, but who uh, create artwork that is based on Islamic traditions. Right, because uh, it's based on Islamic traditions, I'm wondering, are there any restrictions? Can anybody enter? Who can? En uh... um, there are a few restrictions, right. but uh, only a few. It's um, in fact, um, it's open to artists and designers from all over the world. So it's not only from the Middle East, uh, but these artists and designers um, should like take um, inspi inspiration by Islamic art, and it's quite um, it's quite amazing. Um, that um, you can find these artists from all over the world because we have also this year we have like people from Brazil and um, we got applications from Thailand and, and, and all over the world. And um, the only restriction in fact is that the artwork has to be created um, within the last five years. So it should not be older. Mm, but we don't have any restrictions in terms of like gender, in terms of age, in terms of, of country, in terms of nationality, of religion or anything. Great. The fourth uh, Art Jamil Prize has just been announced. Tell us about the selection process and this year's winner, of course. It's quite, uh, it's quite a long uh, process, in fact, because uh, that's a prize that is by nomination. Um, and this process is also to have really an outreach to the whole world, because the Victor and Albert Museum, they have experts all over the world, and it's these experts that nominate artists. So in this, um, in this sense, you can, uh, you can really reach out to all parts. Um, and this year we had 280 nominations. Um, and then it's a dif uh, the difficult work of the judges. We have like eight judges. Um, one is of course the director of the Victor and Albert Museum, Dr. Martin Roth, um, and the two curators, uh, Tim Stanley and Salma Tukan. Um, and then we have three international experts, um, um, Alan Kager-Smith, an international renowned uh, potter, um, um, ha um, Hamad Nazar, um, a writer and historian uh, working in Hong Kong, and Rose Issa, a very well-known curator and uh, writer and publisher. Um, and last but not least, DJ Kayak, uh, the winners from the last Jamil Prize. So, and mm -hmm. they have to put together a short list of 11 artists um, to be part of the exhibition. And then on the last day, like before uh, the ceremony, the judges convene again and select the winner. And select the winner. So what is the role of the patron of the Jamil Prize, Zaha Hadid? Well, Zaha Hadid, it was like, uh, because we wanted this prize really to be an international prize and not only right. um, um, for the Middle East or coming from the Middle East. And mm -hmm. Zaha Hadid um, was such um, like an inspiring figure and international renowned architect and artist. Um, and, but on the other hand, also working with Islamic tradition. So that's why we chose her. And of course, we're very sad that she passed away recently and um, we will see it's too early to speak about uh, what we'll do in the future. Mm -hmm. So where can art lovers see uh, the shortlisted art pieces? Art pieces. Um, it's for the first time that the first exhibition is not at the Victoria and Albert Museum, but it's um, like now in Istanbul and we are very happy to mm -hmm. be here. Um, so it's at the Para Museum um, in Bayolo um, and it's open until the 14th of August. And as you might know, the Para Museum is open every day except Monday. So I really hope that many people will come um, and see the exhibition. It will go on a tour after, but we don't know yet where. Okay. Well, Renyanta Papsh, thank you very much for joining us in our Tianti World in Istanbul studios. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thank you.